So you want to buy an instrument. Should you buy new or used? Let's figure it out. Welcome to the workshop, everyone. My name's Aaron Johnson, and today we are going to be going over the pros and cons of whether you should purchase a new or a used instrument. Now, before we do this, let's get some ground rules in place. Today we're talking about instruments that would be considered beginning, intermediate, or advanced. If those terms aren't familiar for you, we're talking about instruments that are priced between $200 to $6,000. These instruments exhibit very, very similar characteristics and allows them to sort of be grouped in this pros versus con discussion. If you want to see a video where we talk about master-made and antique violins in this same way, let us know down in the comments. And while we're at it, please remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, it really helps us out. Starting off with new instruments, let's talk a little bit about the pros for these. First off, they are going to be cosmetically beautiful and you're gonna get that new car smell. This makes new instruments fantastic ideas for gifts or for maybe somebody's first instrument when, they re when you really wanna get them excited about playing. Now, in addition to that, it's really easy to determine what a new instrument's value is. They're for sale, new, on the internet, or at your local shop, and you can tell exactly what the instrument is worth. Makes it really handy. Next up for a pro for these is they are structurally sound. With a new instrument, all of the pieces of wood are, it's aged wood, but it's a new instrument, so you're not gonna have old cracks or other issues going on with the violin, and that can really help alleviate some concerns for parents who might be trying to figure out um, how much trouble you might run into in the future with this thing. And for the last two pros for a new instrument, these instruments, if you buy them from a reputable shop, usually come with some sort of warranty, some sort of protection for all the things that could happen over the first year that you own the instrument. And then finally, there is also a really good supply of new instruments. So you can have a great selection of instruments to choose from and you can find an instrument that really fits you as a player from the get-go. Now let's talk about the cons of buying a new instrument. First off, for the same instrument, new versus used, you are going to be paying top dollar for that violin. Secondly, as you play a new instrument over time, there is a significant break-in and development period for a new instrument's sound. This can make it so that the instrument that you loved when you first started playtesting can sound very, very different a year later. Now this can typically be mitigated and adjusted through setup processes and swapping out strings and other things like that. And finally, even though the wood to the violin is aged, it is newer wood than on a used instrument, and you can get some you can get some scenarios happening where the wood breaks in over time, or you might pop a few seams through the first couple seasonal changes as that wood finally acclimates to being a good stable instrument. Next up, let's talk about used instruments. Now, for the pros for buying a used instrument, you are going to get the same instrument at a discounted price meaning you get more violin for your money. Now, I hear what you're saying, but Aaron, violins, they appreciate in value over time. While this is true, instruments made in factories and production level instruments, once they get used, they actually decrease in value for a while and they will stay decreased in value until years and the supply cuts off and all of these other factors build up to then make that instrument more valuable. If you're wondering about what makes a violin valuable, check out the video on our channel. Now, secondly, for a used instrument, you are going to get an instrument that has stabilized materials. Any initial changes or adjustments that were gonna happen with the wood in the violin have already happened, so you don't need to worry about that. And to pair with that, you are also gonna get a stabilized sound characteristic. This means that the sound that is developed in that violin over time is gonna be pretty dang reliable for the amount of time you're gonna have the violin. Moving on to the cons list for used instruments, the first up on our list is you will have cosmetic defects. As you can see on this instrument, it was used by a player in the past and over the course of its usage, it got some blemishes and some scuffs and some scratches, all sort of along the edges here. While these might be visually unappealing, 
they actually don't contribute at all to the sound quality or structural stability of the instrument, and that's part of the reason why you can get a great deal on these. Now while minor dings and scratches don't affect the sound quality or the structural stability of the instrument, sometimes they can be indicators of underlying issues with your violin. The next item on our cons list is that with a used instrument, you don't have a way of being certain of the structural stability of the violin. There are many things that could have happened with the violin that you're not aware of that could cause you issues down the road. And while we're talking about issues down the road, uh, these instruments usually don't have a warranty associated with them either. So if you're purchasing them off of eBay or Craigslist, it's pretty much as is purchases and you don't have a lot of protection as a buyer when you go to pick one of them up. Now the final item on our cons list for a used instrument is there's typically a limited supply of these. Unlike the new instruments that are being produced and curated constantly, used instruments are a little more few and far between, meaning that you might have to compromise. You might not be able to find the perfect instrument for you, but still be able to settle for finding a great instrument for you. So that's all the time we have today, folks. If you have any other ideas of pros or cons for new versus used instruments, go ahead and drop them down in the comments section. And honestly, at the end of the day, you need to use these lists to figure out what's important to you as a player. If you care about having that security and having that warranty and having all of that extra protection, new instruments could be a great option for you. If you really wanna maximize your investment and get the most out of your money, then maybe the used instrument is a perfect option. If you are purchasing used though, I would really encourage you to make sure you can have the instrument checked out by a shop or buy an instrument that offers certified used instruments where they have warranty protection and you have some recourse should there be a problem with your purchase. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on The Workshop. Now moving on to the cons list for violins. Blah, 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 blah. That sucked. I suck. I'm terrible. Strategic jump cut. <laughs> and while we're at it, please remember to like and subscribe. Nope, that didn't work at all. I ran out of words. Ah! I suck.